toward Bandana FM Rita. Flashmatic. Another, another one from that border, wasn't it? Actually, not as good as last year's kind of though, is it? Is he one of the Barrett's? No. Yeah. I did not talk to him to the I did not talk to him to the Probably behavior in the ring is probably. Maybe it is, but. The, I on the left just having a photo of the year valley, you know what I mean? It's just the left. Not really up there. Oh, yeah. second. I'd like to hear three. Right. Huh? <laughs> I would say behavior in the ranger. Strong rump and an open pin set. 
a cow that just to me has tremendous balance and drop to that four rib. But when you stand from behind this cow is when you really appreciate how good this cow is when you have a look at the height from whip the rear rudder, definition of seam through this udder. And those teeth are just squarely placed on that udder and why she will be best udder in class for me here today. So a cow that just has tremendous frame throughout, depth of body, openness to the fore rib, and a high and wide rear rudder gives the advantage for first place here today over the cow that comes out in second. The cow in second, a cow not quite the same size and scale, a cow in front of her today, but a cow when you're looking to, you've got a mire for overall dairiness and cleanness right throughout, a cow that has enough height from with the rear rudder, but it's also that depth and length of hip that it gets her in second place for me over the cow in third. She also just shows a little more definition of seam, a little more balance throughout from the cow that comes out in third. The cow in third has a clear advantage on just overall correctness of four other attachment, just a little bit more correctness in that front teeth placement than the cow that comes out here fourth today, but a tremendous class of cows. Well done. Thank you, Robin. Congratulations to the McLean family. They win that bus of the 28th with Priestland 5446. Short chain drugs.